So? So what? Well, it's been about a month since you met Muscles. How are things going? <sighs> Perfectly. He's such a gentleman. You wouldn't think so, what with all his muscles and those intense eyes, but he's so sweet. <laughs> he calls me his cariña. And he's treating you right, yes? <laughs> of course, Nicole. Don't go declaring war on him just yet. Like I said, he's been nothing but polite and chivalrous the entire time I've known him. In fact, I do believe that he's the very definition of romance. He's brought me flowers, given me rides to and from work despite how many times I tell him I can walk, and he's cooked me dinner I don't know how many times. <gasps> oh my goodness, Nicole, you have got to taste his cooking. I swear, if this were a movie, that man would be literally sweeping me off my... Uh, um, Nicole, why are you backing up? Oh, just for me health, dear. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, oh, good to see you again, muscles. <laughs> Darling, what are you doing here? Ugh, please, stop spinning me before I get sick. <laughs> oh, thank you, darling. Whew, I'm dizzy now. <laughs> As always, Muscles, you're right on time. Emma's shift is just about over. Oh, yes, we had a pretty uneventful day here at the library. A few late returns, but nothing too exciting. What about you? Anything interesting happen at the garage today? Wait, are you for real? You had a teenager coming complaining about a loud clunking noise whenever she came to a stop, only to discover she had a bowling ball rolling around in her trunk. Oh, kids today, no common sense whatsoever. Well, at least it was nothing too serious. Ugh, I hope you charge her extra for wasting your time. Oh, come now, Nicole. She was probably afraid that her car was falling apart. Yes, well enough, Cheater Chatter. Judging by how often Muscles keeps looking at the clock, he's eager to get you out of here. Why don't you clock out early, dear? R really? Are you sure? It's been pretty slow today. I think I can handle the last hour by myself. Go on now, get! <laughs> okay. Be back in a minute, darling. Got something special planned today, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. Oh, 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 you can't fold his hair, lad. I may not look it, but I know a thing or two about romance. <sighs> oh, hi. I had quite a few suitors back in my day. Grand gestures were sort of a daily occurrence. Ah, uh, but I won't bore you with stories of me old conquests. Just know that I wish you luck in your endeavors. Okay, I'm all set. Are you sure you don't need me to stay until closing, Nicole? I'm positive. Now go on, the both of you, and have a fun evening. <laughs> Bye, Nicole. See you tomorrow. So, are we heading to my place or yours for dinner? Either way, we'll have to stop by my apartment to pick up the ingredients I bought. I found this amazing recipe online that I can't wait to try out. Hmm? What do you mean we're not going home just yet? Uh, a pit stop? Did you have to pick up something else from the store? No. Then, what? You want to take me where? Oh, darling, I, I, I don't think that's such a good idea. I told you, I've never been outside the city limits in my life. I know you've been helping me step outside of my comfort zone this past month, and I do love discovering new passions with you, but I... 
I don't think I'm ready for that step yet. What if my parents find out? <laughs> oh, trust me, my parents have ways of finding things out. One time, when I was 13, I snuck out of the house to go to a study session with my friends. I thought I was pretty slick, but somehow my parents found out about it. Not only did they ground me for two months, but they also made me transfer schools, since it was obvious that my friends at the time were bad influences. Oh, oh no, please don't misunderstand. My parents only tried to keep me safe. They were just a little, um, overprotective at times. The point is that they'd be furious with me when they found out I've left the city. I just, I just don't want them to get a bad impression of you before they even have a chance to meet you. Really? You promise we'll only go as far as the city limits? Well, okay. Hand me my helmet and let's get going. I know this is going to sound really strange, but I've never seen the now leaving sign before. Was it... Was it red at some point? And the color faded in the sunlight? Or was it always that ugly shade of pink? Seriously? Someone actually chose that color? Hmm... I would have chosen a nice green. Or maybe yellow. I quite like yellow. <laughs> Why did you bring me here, darling? You want me to take your hand. But you're outside the city limits. What? No, of course I'm not scared. I'm more nervous than anything. Like I've said, I've never been this far before. Actually going outside city limits? What if my parents find out? Hmm? Oh, nothing, darling. Darling, are you sure I can do this? Truly, you think I'm ready for this? O okay, if you're here with me then, then I know I can do this. But, um, please, can you take my hand? Okay. <gasps> oh, that... That was... I don't know what to say. I know this must sound really silly to you, but I feel so... light now. This is the farthest away from home I've ever been. And... And I never would have done this without your help. Darling, you 
bring out the best in me. You make me feel like I can do anything now. I never used to feel that way. I don't know if it's because of our life mate bond or if it's just because you're that incredible, but you make me feel free. You make me feel like I have a true purpose now. Is... Is this love? Do I love you? Yes. I think... No. I know. I do love you. I love you so much it almost hurts. But it's a good pain. You love me too? Then, may I, um, may I kiss you? truly are a gift from the goddess. ride home. I'll see you tomorrow. I... <laughs> I love you. What? 